What's going on, fellow Grand Larceneers? John Ryan here with IGN, and we are looking at the best way to fatten your bankroll in the GTA 5 re-release on PS4 and Xbox One. Of course, this tip also applies to those of you playing on PS3 and 360 and PC eventually, but things are a little different for our new-gen console gamers. Anyways, let's get to it, shall we? Those of you returning from the previous release will immediately recognize the stock market assassinations as either that thing that you got rich beyond rich on, or that thing you really wish you'd waited to do. If you're not familiar with them, about one third of the way through the story, Lester calls Franklin with an opportunity to assassinate some key players in major corporations, the death of whom will cause a pretty drastic shift in the LCN or Boss Act stock markets. You'll have to complete the first of these missions, the hotel assassination, before moving forward in the story, but, and this is the best tip for making money in the single player portion of this game, do not complete any of the other assassination missions until you've finished the story and completed the last heist. You can use these missions to double, triple, or even quadruple your earnings, and you'll have a lot more cash to do this with at the end of the game. Basically, the way that it works is this. Before starting an assassination, you have all three of your characters invest heavily, and that is pretty much all of your money, in whatever stock Lester's attempting to help out. For example, in the first one, the hotel assassination, Franklin has to kill off the CEO of Bilkington Pharmaceuticals, so he, Trevor, and Michael should all toss their money towards Beta Pharmaceuticals, the rival company. After the assassination, Beta stock will rise, giving you a hearty profit on your investment. Now, remember how I said things were a little different for those of us on PS4 and Xbox One? Well, for anyone who played the game on 360 and PS3, you'll remember that after this first assassination, we were able to get around an 81% return on our investment, and then send that into Bilkington stocks for when it rebounded. Well, it seems like with the update to the new system hardware, Rockstar decided to change something and, well, now we only seem to be able to get a 21% return out of beta farm stock, and Bilkington's just kind of sinks and stays there. I waited about three weeks worth of in-game time and never really saw any actual improvements. The good news is that this seems to be the only mission that they've changed. We went ahead and played the Redwood assassination before finishing the game. That's right, I lost money. For you, you're welcome. And we still managed to earn an 85 to 90% return on our investment in debonair cigarettes and about a 300% return from the rebound of Redwood, which is about what we experienced the last time around on PS3 and 360. And for a complete rundown of what stocks to buy and sell before and after each assassination mission, head over to IGN and check out our full wiki at IGN.com slash wiki slash GTA 5. And for everything else on Grand Theft Auto, you're already in the right place here at IGN. You know, we'll fix the market in our favor and we'll right a few wrongs while we're at it. <laughs>